Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. This is 6 a.m. Throwing an assassinator buzz bait. You've seen me throwing this the other day down here in Lower Delaware. This is the third one I've got. It's just light enough to film now. Uh, they're hitting it strange, real strange. Uh, I'm going to switch up to a swim jig with a different trailer. I'm going to go with that Grandy Bass Mega Claws in a different color. They're just pulling at the buzz bait tail. Just barely grasping at the back and getting it. They're not smashing it. There's no real sound. A couple of times you thought you were just hooked on grass. That's how little of a pull there was. And it was actually them on the back of it. So, real strange. And carp are smashing in at the shore, which they haven't done since they were spawning. So, I don't know what's going on. Water's really cleared up quite a bit. And the temperature's 75.3. We'll see what happens in a minute. There we go. Another one on the assassinator buzz bait, clacker buzz. Boy, it got that grass all over it. Look at that. Fat, got food all in its stomach. Not giant fish, but decent fish here in Delaware. Temperature's 98 degrees in the day. We've got a heat wave going on. Temperature's 77 degrees right now at 4.30 a.m. Man, I tell you. Let's see if we can get some more. That water temperature is really going, going up 10 degrees in 24 hours. There's the next one now on the Assassinator buzz bait. You can see it's feeding up. It's got some food in its stomach. I can't see anything in its mouth, but they're real slow today. You can tell something's happening. Some rain just started a minute ago. I'm down here by Route 1 down in the pads, about three, three and a half feet deep threw that assassinator in, I had to work it real slow and just work it in and out of the pads, real real accurate little short cast, and bang, that one hit it, but man, but real slow. Well, they quit hitting everything uh, for the last hour, everywhere. The buzz bait, crank bait, jigs, frog, I threw it all, they just weren't hitting it, so. I put on the uh, LP custom jig, I put on the Grandy Bass Mega Claw trailer on the back in the watermelon red, and I started swimming that through the pads and I just picked up a small one, so we'll see if maybe there's some back in here willing to hit. Alright, I picked up another one now just a few minutes later on the LP custom jig, same thing, Grandy Bass Mega Claws trailer, watermelon red. and. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm going along and I'm just quietly flipping it in 10, 15, 20 feet into the pads, swimming it a little ways, dropping it, swimming it, dropping it like that, in and out of the pads in about three feet of water back in this uh, cove that they use to spawn in the spring. So we'll see what happens with this. We'll keep moving along. There's a lot of pads in here. See if there's more of them in the pads like this. I'm using Sunline FX2 braid, 60 pound test. I'm using a St. Croix Legend Elite in 7 feet, and I'm using a Shimano Corrado uh, 7 to 1 on this one. On the buzzbait rod, I've got the Cron Arc in a 7 to 1. Okay, there's the next one on the uh, LP Custom Swim Jig. Same trailer, Grandy Bass. What I'm doing is uh, I'm up real shallow in that, uh, what people call snot grass, but it's that black, slimy grass. And it's mixed in with the pads and a couple other different kinds of grass. And that's what you want to look for. They're actually laying up in those pockets in that grass. Up here on the uh, north, uh, northeast shore. So, not a giant, but a good bass. Got some food in its belly. Alright, I'm going to get on out of here, it's uh, 8 o'clock, 91 degrees with about 80-85% humidity, water temperatures are in that low to mid 80s now depending on what part of the lake you're in. Funny thing is today I found water that was much clearer and the bass weren't in that, but when I got to the water that was more stained in the shallows, they were up in that real shallow water that was stained and muddy, in with the different kinds of grass with thick grass so they were apparently you know hiding under that and burying themselves in that because of the heat so wherever you could find 
that thick grass mixed in with pads and some other kind of grass like milfoil or eelweed. Wherever there was a couple grasses mixed together and it was real thick, water was a little bit off color to muddy in the shallows about one to two feet deep, that's where the bass were. Uh, so I assume they're going to be in that kind of a pattern for at least a couple days with this heat wave we've got now. So. Anyway, stop on in our forums, ask about our free baits offer. Just click on free baits and you can get uh, free baits with all your tackle warehouse orders. Stop on in and uh, check out LP Custom Jigs and those Assassinator uh, spinner baits and buzz baits. You're really going to like them. So until next time, this is Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. I'll see you down on the water. Brother, it's a long road from Amistad to Toho. Doesn't matter which way you go, the miles are all the same. But when you finally get there, and when you pull the cover off, then it's time to get a little bit lost out on the lake. Gonna back this boat into the water, find a way to.